why does anybody care about what's going on in my life? Which is true, nobody cares. Good morning, or evening, wherever you're watching this from. Welcome to my channel. It's currently 10.30 or so here. I've been up since six in the morning, so it's, it's still uh, early, early to me. I've been thinking about what I wanted to say in this video. I was actually also thinking whether or not I was going to make this video, but here I am, and here you are, watching it. So I've had this thought long before I started uploading to this channel. I've had this channel since 2000... Oh, hold on, let me check real quick. 2009. Yeah, I've had this YouTube channel since 2009. Like many of you who signed up for YouTube just to watch the videos or to make comments on videos. Yeah, I've had this channel for quite some time, but I've only started recently uploading videos consistently. Yeah, this question I've had, what am I going to do? What am I doing it for? I'm sure many of you have had that question run across your mind or even this one. I should have started a long time ago. Everybody has that thought. Not a lot of the big YouTubers make these types of videos where they documented their journey early on where they were talking about the struggles of gaining subscribers and making videos and things of that nature. You only see it when they have like maybe around 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. That may not seem like a lot of subscribers to some people, but to small YouTubers like myself, it seems like an unobtainable goal just because currently I'm sitting at 37 subscribers and it feels like it's gonna take me a long time. I mean, I don't have a problem with, I think that's the name of the game for anything. It will take time and eventually I'll get there. It would be nice to see those guys that made it kind of talk about their journey early on so that people like us can relate to it. You know, it's hard to relate to somebody that's already, I guess we can call them wildly successful when they're sitting at a huge amount of subscribers compared to people that just started. So I'm recording this video just so that anybody that's starting now, I'm just where you are right now. If you're feeling the struggle, I'm feeling it too. We're in it together. And if you really want it, you're gonna go after it and eventually all the fruits of your labor will come bearing fruit. To be honest with you, I mainly wanted to start this YouTube career because of the potential life it can bring to me. I mean, based off what we've seen so far with a lot of these big YouTubers, they're living the life that everybody wants to have. Of course, nobody knows how much work goes into it. And then that's where they realize that this might be too challenging for them and they either give up or no, that's, that's it actually. They just probably just give up. Like many of you, I grew up being told to go to school, get good grades, get into a good college, and then you'll get a good job and you'll make good money. Yeah, right. What a load of shit that was. I mean, this has worked to a certain extent for adults that had told me and I'm sure some of you for when they were younger, when half the population wasn't educated. But that's no longer the case. And what they don't tell you if you decide to pursue a higher education is like how much money you're going to invest and how much time you're also going to invest. But then there's no guarantee that you're going to end up getting the job that you went to school for. Even if you do get the job, how long do you think you'll stay before you realize that this isn't what you wanted to do? But I digress. I came to a realization that I didn't want to wake up before the sun to go to a place that I hated, making barely living wages, to pay off the loan that I got to go to school, to get a job, to pay off the loan that I got to get a job. I wanted more for my life. Like I wanted to have a meaningful life. I wanted to be able to travel and go on adventures. Wait, that's, that's pretty much the same thing. You get what I mean. I wanted to live a life that I could be proud of when I reached the end of it. Like, I don't wanna wake up one day, realize all I've done with my life was just pay bills and survive instead of living. Most of us out here, we're not living our life. We're just surviving right now, paycheck to paycheck. That's basically how the system that was 
put in place has made all of us basically live our lives. It's a really sad realization. And that's mainly why I wanted to do YouTube, for the potential to be able to do what I want to do and not have to answer to an alarm clock. I'm sure a lot of people would love that. Not have to wake up when the clock tells you to wake up, you just wake up whenever you want. Now that I'm married, a lot of my priorities have changed. I want to give my wife a better life. <laughs> I want to give my wife the life that she deserves. And I want to give our future twins a better life. And of course, you know, maybe another child too. We'll see how, how the twins or whichever one comes first goes. I guess why I'm making this video is just to remind myself what is it that I want to do with my life. Like some of you out there, I'm also trying to figure that part out. You know, as long as this platform provides me with some form of entertainment while it lets me be creative and potentially entertaining others, I'll be satisfied, you know, for the most part. I'm not gonna be doing this for free forever because man, this has been hard as f I am literally doing everything. I'm the videographer, the photographer, the editor, the sound guy, the lighting guy. Hell, I'm even the cue card guy. Even though this has been really difficult and very time consuming, it's been the most fulfilling thing that I've done in a while. This has been way more fulfilling than any regular nine to five job I've ever had. And that's saying something. I remember being told once that life is all about solving problems and that's what makes it so satisfying. If you really think on that statement, you know how true that is. Even think about it in your own life. Like how often do you feel satisfied after you had solved a problem even if you weren't being asked to solve that problem my men you know what i'm talking about always giving advice unsolicited advice especially when all your wife wants you to do is just listen <laughs> until i no longer have problems for me to solve i won't be satisfied man i sound like a workaholic but you know being married to my wife i'm always gonna have problems <laughs> ever since i started this youtube career or i started down this path of being a youtuber i've had a lot of problems that i need to solve like learning how to edit and how to do a lot of things without getting copyrighted Ugh, man there's so much it is it is literally running a business just running a YouTube channel. But hey, I've learned a lot of skills while starting this. Again, learn how to edit videos, talk to a camera naturally, or as natural as I will edit myself to look. I also learned that it could be a lot of fun if you allow it to be. You know, if you treat it super serious, then you're not gonna enjoy it. And I think that's the hard part. You just gotta find a balance. I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this right now are probably just thinking, who the hell is this guy? What does he know? Trust me, I do that shit too. Like whenever I see somebody on YouTube pop off, I'm like low key hating on them because they're doing a lot better than me. But then after a while I watch their videos and I realize like how entertaining and how much time they put into their videos and I subscribe to them. I hope that my videos are providing some type of value to some of you that are watching, all 12 of you that watch my videos, which is kind of cool. Like knowing that there are 12 people at least that watches my videos. It'd be better if they watch it all the way through and subscribe, but hey, can't win them all. How's that saying go? Nothing worth it is ever easy. If you ever played a video game, you know how true that could be. Let's use God of War, cause that's the most recent game I've played. So like you're playing on like God mode, right? And everything is practically impossible and you're fighting off all the Valkyries and stuff and then you just die, but you're so close to beating that level. You know, you want to quit, but you ain't no bitch because you don't want to quit because you want to get past this so you can go on to the next level. That's how I look at being a YouTuber is. Like right now, it feels like you're about to rage quit because you're at this hard point in the game. But if you continue going, you're going to be able to surpass and you're about to level up. Just use that analogy. Treat YouTube like it's a game. I mean, well, you know, in a sense that you're gonna level up. Don't treat it like a game if you're trying to actually take this seriously. Everybody deals with things differently. That's kind of how I'm looking at it and that's how I'm gonna move forward with it. If you're watching this and you're wondering whether or not to start your channel now, what better time to do it than now? We're in a global pandemic. 
most of us are stuck at home anyways. Why not just pick up the camera and start recording? I know a lot of people, me included, are also thinking, why does anybody care about what's going on in my life? Which is true, nobody cares. But until you provide some form of value for these people that are watching you, it's gonna continue being like that. I'm not anybody, I'm not in any position to give these types of advice, especially since I'm like brand new to this. So you can follow me and see how I do in this whole journey. If you wanna find out for yourself, you just gotta take that first step. And if you're afraid, to even put yourself out there, who cares? Most of the time, the people that upload videos are also afraid. Just think about that. Don't let your fear control you. If you're wondering whether to post that first video because it's perfect or not, mine aren't. Nobody starts off that way. You just get better over time. If you watch a lot of the well-known YouTubers or the famous YouTubers, if you go back to like their very first videos, I'm sure they weren't as good as they are now. It just takes time and practice, just like anything else. It's like public speaking. After I started YouTubing, YouTubing? After I started recording myself, I realized how awkward I seem on camera and how hard it is to actually focus and talk to a camera like you're talking to somebody. I'm just here in my room by myself. <laughs> if there was like a behind the scenes video, it, it would look just really awkward of me just talking to a camera. Or it's basically just me talking to myself. That's all YouTube is. You just talk to yourself, but you're recording it. Don't worry about your videos being perfect or not. Just remember this. Finished is better than perfect. And who knows? You could be the next YouTuber with a scandal waiting to happen. Everything I've said in this entire video has been my own personal experience or that of people I've known over the years. You can take it or leave it, but I do hope that a lot of things that I have said throughout this video has provided you with some form of value. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked this video. Like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, share with your friends and family. Follow me on my journey to, <laughs> to reach a thousand subs. We're still hoping to getting to a thousand. All right, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.